In this video, I'm going to show you a trick that you can use on your Casio Classwiz calculator to figure out the stationary points of a function iteratively. And so to do this, we're going to look at a worked example. So we're going to find the stationary points of f of x, and we're told that these occur between minus 5 and 5. And so we've got a function f of x, which is x cubed plus 2x squared plus 1. And we want to find the stationary points. So we're going to do this to two decimal places. And you should know that stationary points occur at the point where dy dx equals 0. So we're looking out for the derivative being equal to 0. And so the first step to do this on a calculator is to use the table mode. So if we go to menu and then navigate down to option 9, that will give us the table mode. And this will ask for f of x. So we can input the function. And so what we want to do is we want to define f of x to be the derivative of our, of our function, and we want to evaluate it at lots of different x points. So let's enter in the derivative. So we press shift, and then on the integrate button, you've got the derivative. Then we can enter x cubed. Then we want plus 2x squared, and then plus 1. And then at the very end here, we're going to have x equals x. Now we press equals. We can just define g of x equal to 1 because we're not very interested in this. And then we can set our range. And we're told in the question the stationary point occurs between minus 5 and 5, or there could be more than one stationary point. And we're going to do a step of 1. And so we press equals. And then we get this table, and we need to interpret the table. So we can see that we've got f of x here. g of x we're going to ignore. And then these are all our x values. And when you go through it, you can see that it's decreasing. Then there's a change of sign that occurs between x equals minus 2 and minus 1. You can see it going from 4 to minus 1. So there's a stationary point somewhere between x equals minus 2 and minus 1. And then if we go further down, at x equals 0, we've got 0. So we know that x equals 0 is a stationary point, and that there is another stationary point located somewhere between x equals minus 2 and x equals minus 1. So we need to zoom in a little bit more to get some better information about there. So we're going to remember the numbers minus 2 and minus 1, and we're going to press AC to go back to here. Then we're just going to go equals, equals again, and we're going to edit the range. So let's go between minus 2 and minus 1, and then let's have much smaller step, so 0 0.1. And so if we evaluate this, it will give us lots of values, and we can start zooming in more. So it's all being positive on f of x. So we keep going down, keep going down, looking for the change in sign. There it is. So between minus 1.4 and minus 1.3, it goes from plus 0 0.8 to minus 0 0.13. And what that tells you is there's a stationary point located somewhere between minus 1.4 and minus 1.3. So what we can do is zoom in a little bit more. So let's press AC, remembering minus 1.4, minus 1.3. So we get rid of that. Press equals, press equals. We're not changing any of that. And we want to look between those two values. So we want to start at minus 1.4, go to minus 1.3. And let's do a step that is a tenth of that. So we'll go up in 0 0.01. So we're going to look at all the values between minus 1.4 and minus 1.3 going up in 0 0.01. So equals and then equals again. So we get the table again. And again, we're looking for that change of sign. So we're all still in positive numbers, still in positive numbers. And we switch there to a minus. And then if we go down another one, we've got a minus, even smaller one. So you could zoom in even further and do between these two and 0 0.001, and that would get you even closer. But two significant figures, I'm going to say that the stationary point is coming out. If we look at there, we've got 0 0.026. So somewhere between minus 1.34 and minus 1.33, and it's somewhat closer to minus 1.33. So the other stationary point is going to be minus 1.33, and the first one is x equals 0. So that's your two stationary points, and that's how you can find it iteratively to two decimal places. So I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.